When it's foggy and misty, that's when they come out to play. There's some weird noises going on up here already. We're supposed to have like 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts up here. Fendi. 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 Right, well I've had zero sleep. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here doing these videos. So we need to get off this godforsaken hill. Pendle Hill, haunted by witches, spirits and other lost souls from a bygone era. And we are going to camp on top of it. Matt with Curtis today. There he is, look. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's going to protect me tonight because the story about these witches on this haunted hill is when it's foggy and misty, that's when they come out to play. And today, we're definitely going to be in the fog. We're going to be in the clouds, aren't we, up there? Although the scariest thing that'll be on top of Pendle Hill is our gas. <laughs> El Grizzle McShizzle. We're going up to the top of there. There's a path that either goes that way or goes that way. And I think they're both as steep as each other. I'll see you when I get to the top. <laughs> Gonna be a steep climb this so i'll tell you about the witches the well-documented story of the pendle witches has been the subject of many films plays and documentaries not to mention books and it has ties back to my hometown of halifax the story of their demise is factually true however it is thought that these witches still haunt their meeting places and work tirelessly to terrify anyone who tries to make contact with them. It all started with an impoverished local woman named Alison Devise, who was begging alongside the road between Colm and Trawden. A man, John Law from Halifax, passed by Alison who begged him for some pins. He didn't want to take his pack off because he knew she had no money and a confrontation ensued. A big black dog came and sat down beside Alison and allegedly talked. What dost thou want me to do to him? Lame him, she said. And with that, John Law felt a terrible pain in his left side and collapsed in agony. He was taken to a local alehouse and couldn't walk and couldn't talk for three days. Once his voice returned, he screamed that he'd been cursed by a witch from the forest of Pendle. His son, Abraham, took off to find this witch named Alison Device and brought her back to the alehouse where his father was still resting. That's her, John cried. That's the witch that cursed me. Then this opened up the most notorious witch trial of the 17th century. Pumpkin and that up here. That one's carved a face on it. Look at that little baby one, look. <laughs> now I know that I said that I wasn't going to do any sponsors, but this one benefits you. Do you fancy a free crate of beer? Eh? I thought you might. Oktoberfest is upon us, and Beer 52 are offering you a free case of new and exclusive beers from Germany and beyond. Simply go to www.beer52.com forward slash gaz to get your free crate of beer. All you need to do is cover the small postage cost of £5.95 and you get eight incredible beers from Beer52. You also get some snacks and a magazine telling you all about the breweries and the beers. This month they're celebrating the largest and most iconic festival of all. Oktoberfest. They offer the ultimate immersive drinking experience. They've teamed up with the best independent breweries from across Germany, 
to launch eight new and exclusive beers that you won't find anywhere else. Craft Beer Legends, to all, offer up Hell's Block Lager with a soft malt backbone, balanced bitterness and low sweetness, making it super drinkable beer. You can choose from light beers like I have done here, or you can get dark beers, or you can get a mix, depending on what you fancy. So go to www.beer52.com forward slash gaz or scan this QR code. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, beautiful views from up here. Over there, you can see um, Penny Gen. Over there, Wernside. And over there, you can just make out Blackpool Tower. <laughs> Supposed to have like 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts up here. So, we need to find somewhere a bit sheltered from the wind. I've got my strongest tent that I own and it only cost me 120 quid from Amazon. I'll show you that once we've found a spot to pitch up. But I don't fancy getting flapped in face again. <laughs> We're just trying to find a water source. It's called Foxhole or something. It's what I saw on map anyway. Oh, we can hear uh, running water now. Sent Curtis off on a recon mission and he found it, so high five to Curtis. Yeah! Here it is, look. Found the infamous Here we go, look. It's like back in olden times, but we've tanked it. Oh. This is all right, isn't it? Huh? Mountain spring. I'm gonna bottle this up and sell it. Grizzle McChisel water. Yeah, what was that? We just went in. Big white thing went in. Probably a bit of sheep in here. <laughs> Look at that. Expert at There you go, mate. Now we've just got to climb back. <laughs> up there, <laughs> back up to the top again. Can't believe we've gone all the way down there for uh, water. <laughs> Should have just filled a bottle up at home and brought it up with me. <laughs> It'd have been easier. I think we've found a spot. We've got a nice bench here at back at wall. So it wind in hitting us. And then, nice flat bit here. And there's hardly any wind at all here, is there? We're a bit close to the path like, but it'll be uh, easy for us to get off in the morning, won't it? <laughs> and there it is, look. The Van Gogh Starav 200. Experience. Curtis has decided to pitch his tent up about three inches away from mine because he, he gets scared at dark. But bomb proof that tent. Oh, What's going on with your poles, mate? It's a bit bent, don't they? Yeah, you ain't got them on, right? No. Fuck that. Ah. I think I'm meant to go that way, out. <laughs> what are you doing, lad? Fuck that. Fuck it. Hey, dear. That van goes just a three pole structure. One, two, three, bish, bash, bosh. Bomb proof, mate. But is it grizz proof? We'll find out, won't we? Ah, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, it's good to get out of that. Is it? Ah, oh, come here. What are you doing over there? <laughs> come on, you little big head. Come get on this mat here. What are you doing? There she is, look. <sighs> right. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, then we'll get some get some scran on. Oh yeah, Curtis has brought some fat knack meals, haven't you? I have. Brought his own fat knack meals. Uh, he's brought us uh, curry and rice. What is it? What curry is it? Tikka masala. Tikka, tikka masala and rice, but it's uh, it's still frozen, so we'll have to see how we get on with that. <laughs> he's brought all the snacks with him. Look, wine gums. Fridge raiders and a full block of cheese. 
<laughs> What's it like, eh? Oh, it's looking eerie up here now, isn't it? Check it out. You all right in there, dude? <laughs> There's some weird noises going on up here already. We just heard like a, a squeal, didn't we? Pig squeal. Like a pig squeal. And then we just heard something like, I don't know, it sounded like knocking on a door, didn't it? Yeah, it might have been flapping, could be grouse, but yeah, definitely some noises going on up here tonight. So we'll have to go on a, a bit of a venture out, won't we, and see what we can find. Yeah. Come on, let's get your jacket on, mate. It's getting a bit nippy now, isn't it, kid? Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to lick me nose. Yeah. There we go. Mwah. There you go, you'll warm up a bit now, won't you, kid? Ooh, you know what this is, don't you, mate? Eh? Ooh, bit of jerky for you. A little bit of jerky, don't you? Eh? Good girl. It's rock hard. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it between my butt cheeks to warm it up. Oh, yeah. You're rustling, can you? You've just had yours, mate. Did you bring big bottle with you? Big gas bottle? <laughs> yeah. From caravan. Yeah. <laughs> can always tell up professional is, can't you, by the size of his pot. <laughs> Kirks is in his purple disco machine. I'm wearing the uh, Grizz proof. We're going to have to make that a, uh, a saying, aren't we? You know, when people say, Oh, that tent, mate, it's bomb proof, innit? It's bomb proof. We're gonna have to make a saying, aren't we? Ah, but is it grizz proof? <laughs> right, we're gonna go for a little bit of a bit of a wander around and see if we can uh, see our hero. Can't really see a great deal. You can see probably about 10 metres in front of us. That's about it. I'm expecting to see some, uh, maybe some night runners up here later on. I don't know, in this, uh, in this weather, there was a, there was a family that come up here earlier that we passed and they had a toddler with them. A toddler must have been about three year old, something like that. Snot dribbling down her face, freezing, <laughs> poor lass. You could see if, why people get lost, you know, in places like this when the uh, when the mist comes in. How you doing, mate? Where are you? I can hear you. But I can't see you. Bend it. Bend it. He's over there by Curtis. That's what I mean by how dangerous it can be up here. He's only probably 50 yards away. And if he didn't have a torch on, I wouldn't be able to see him at all. There she is, look. What do you think to my new hat? Eh? <laughs> TK Maxx. Yeah. Levi's. Speaking of TK Maxx, I went to, uh, to the one in my local town, Halifax, and there were a load of Bridgedale socks in there for five ninety nine. So I swiped the lot. <laughs> so you best go check in your TK Maxx and see if there's any Bridgedale socks, because they're pretty decent. Like I've been walking in them and not had any blisters or out like that. They had some thicker ones, which I've got on now, and they had some uh, thinner ones as well. So go check it out. Now Fendel's making a nest on my jacket. No point in me even bringing her sleeping bag is there if she's just gonna make a nest on my jacket instead. She'll be doing this for about 20 minutes now as well. Hey, <laughs> what you like? Comfy yet. You can 
see how cold it is now, look. See my breath and everything. Is that it? We're done. <laughs> All settled in now. I, I put a I put a community post on asking you to send me in your questions. So in the morning I will answer all your questions for you so stick around for them but in the meantime we're gonna chill out i'm gonna watch a horror movie well about witches gotta watch a horror movie about witches when you're on pendle hill aren't you and if uh if it happens during night i'll let you know <laughs> Well, me and Curtis chatted all night. I fell asleep about half eleven. And I've just woke up about ten minutes ago with a bit of a bad back. Because I'm on my Thermarest pad because I didn't think my Big Agnes double pad would fit in this tent. But looking at it, I think it would. So it looks like I'm in for a sleepless night from now on. Which is a shame really, because I've got rock climbing today, later on. do me a favour. Will you do me a favour? This is Curtis's first video that he's made for YouTube. So will you go do me a massive favour and go watch it. Watch it all the way through and give it a like. And uh, I want to try and kickstart the algorithm for him to get him noticed. It'll do, you know, it'll make me really pleased if you would do that massive favour for me because if it weren't for him I wouldn't be here doing these videos because it was Curtis that got me into like the hiking and, and wild camping type thing before I was just doing a bit of bushcraft and um, just camping when I was fishing and stuff like that but he got me into the hiking side of things so he's the reason why I go out and and you know, and take you to these places where I go. So do me that massive, will ya? Watch his video all the way through, and then give it a like. I'll leave it in the pinned comment and the description. That's if he gets it edited and stuff in time before this one goes out. But that'd be a massive solid if you'd do that for me. It dropped really cold at one point, down to about two degrees. But I was toasty warm under this this Flames Creed quilt. It's uh, it's only supposed to go down to six degrees, but I'm absolutely toasty underneath it and still toasty underneath it. So I really rate this quilt. It, it does loft up really well. You can get these from. Uh, Outdoor Gear Essentials, which is a British company. Colin, he's a good lad. Go hit him up. I'll link that in the description as well, so you can go and have a look at his stuff. I'm going to try, try, get back to sleep. But with having sleep maintenance insomnia, it's not likely. Off out for a drinky poo, mate. Right view, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's either a ghost or Jesus. You decide. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Good 
This is going to be fun to pack up in. Right, well, I've had zero sleep since about half one this morning. The rain's calmed down now, but it's going to come back pretty soon. So we're going to pack up now and make a mad dash for it back to the car. Still glorious views this morning. We need to get off this godforsaken hill and uh, get to the car before it starts hammering it down again and then I'll answer some of your questions. Where are you going, Fenzel? <laughs> she's off. You going home, mate? <laughs> oh, she's got most of her jacket off, though. And yeah, is that what you've been doing? Eh? Running really fast so it comes off. <laughs> hey. We love her, don't we? Well, the tent isn't totally grizz proof. See this pole here? It won't come apart from the rest of them. I've tried all sorts, but my hands are too cold and wet this morning, so Terranova, Illerberg, get at me bro, send me a tent. <laughs> Curtis has taken that long to pack up. The whole cloud's gone, look. Oh, look at that. Shame we're leaving now though, isn't it? Views have opened up a little bit. Right, enough of that, it started raining again. <laughs> Let's go. So that's the path that we walked up yesterday and then up that steep bit right at the top. And that's the path <laughs> we're coming down today. But the views have opened up a bit now. Not totally, but just a shame we didn't get to see out yesterday. Wasn't it? Just think clag all the time. Anyway, enough of me waffling. Let's get to the car and then we can have a little chat there. Right, so just sent Curtis in to the butty shop to get us a butty. We ended up picking up a hitchhiker, a Bulgarian bloke called Ivan didn't speak a word of English. So we picked him up, up near Pendle Hill. Um, we asked him where we were going, and he said, Bully, Bully, Bully. So, try to figure out where he wanted to go. Barley was the nearest place to go. So we took him to Barley, and he's like, well, I don't know this place. <laughs> so we said, oh, Burnley. And he said, yeah, Burnley. So <laughs> we're in Burnley now. We just dropped him off. <laughs> so I've just done a big loop the loop, trying to get this poor guy home that didn't speak a word of English. But it were a 20 minute drive from where he were to, to Burnley. So he had a long walk ahead of him, poor guy. But the, f the reason why I didn't sleep last night is that it's that firmer rest pad. Now, I don't know why people say that it's one of the most, you know, it's the best pad going. I mean, it, it is warm, yeah, but I just cannot get comfy on it at all. At all. It's just bad back all night. So, that'll be going in my uh, hot tent raffle, I think. My winter hot tent raffle. Excuse you, mate. Right, let's get to the questions. So, the first question is from Percival Lockhart. What in the world is that powdered drink you keep making? The, if you know, you know drink. Well, if you're not in the know, mate, then you won't know, and I don't think you'll ever know. <laughs> Next question is from Beach Hermit 7171 If you fart in a tent, but there's no dog to blame it on, was there even a fart at all? That's a really, a really good question. Um, Probably not. It's that thing if a tree falls and nobody hears it, did it? I don't know. Is that the analogy? <laughs> There's a bear shit in woods. <laughs> what is the dog thinking? Don't know, mate. What are you thinking? She absolutely hates the car, don't you? But you've kept Ivan company, haven't you? Eh? Kept Ivan company for the like, for last 40 minutes while we've been dri driving him around. <laughs> Matt Johnson 0718 Ask a ra random question Okay, get ready to have your socks I'm pretty good at this Okay, here Grizzly Gaz 
come on mate get to it have you ever woke up in the middle of the night set up in bed said i wonder whoever came up with the concept of sweet potatoes hey i'm not i'm not a fan of sweet potatoes absolutely rank give me normal potatoes any day from sister bluebird 68 what would be a good theme song for your life i don't know probably benny hill track <laughs> lee cattle 6548 has fendi ever took a shizzle in the tent while you were sleeping no she's actually peed on one of my sleeping bags before um when i took kids camping for the first time she uh she peed on one of my sleeping bags to mark a territory i'm guessing so a little jealous ass so that ruined that trip didn't you eh? she's oblivious she doesn't know what i'm talking about does she steve slade 712 when painting do you apply undercoat or opt for just a one coat option one coat option out way mate so and my buddy's here now buddy boy's here 